District 70, Henry Otis Brown is an independent. He faces Delegate Dolores McQuinn, who was elected in a special election last January to fill the District 70 seat left open when Delegate Dwight Jones was elected mayor of Richmond. Henry Otis Brown is not able to be present with us this evening. Delegate McQuinn, one minute for introductions. Good evening, and I want to take this opportunity to thank you for an uh, opportunity like this to come before you, as well as have all the organizers and all as the listening audience this afternoon. Uh, I am an individual, I call myself a new kid on the block because this was my first session uh, in the General Assembly. Uh, I also have served over the past 18 years uh, in political leadership. Uh, I have served in public office and have worked to improve uh, their children's education and for care for the elderly and the less fortunate. And I've dedicated myself to public service to making sure that we provide for safer neighborhoods as well as help Richmond and Henrico County area to be a better place to live, to work, and to play. And it's been a wonderful opportunity to serve over the past 18 years in an elected capacity. Thank you. Delegate McQueen, can you provide us with any examples of how you've reached across the aisle to get bipartisan support for the issue you face in the House? Um, yeah, we have. Um, I've had an opportunity, matter of fact, I was fortunate to have some of the, uh, a couple of the individual, particularly Mr. Luposi, uh, to be one who I served with on city council. And uh, through that opportunity like that, he was, as, as I said, I was a new kid on the block, but we had opportunities to sit down and dialogue about some of the things that were going on in the General Assembly and how to best serve uh, not only the citizens that you represent, but all of the citizens of the Commonwealth. Um, I had um, opportunities, again, to talk to uh, other elected officials on the Republican side as well as the Democratic side to just address many issues that uh, we have addressed. Delegate McQueen, both gubernatorial candidates support raising Virginia's college graduation rate from 42% to 50%. Senator Deeds says new efficiencies in state government will support a higher education investment. Mr. McDonald promises a bipartisan effort to come up with a sustained source of income. Do you support either of these approaches, and why or why not? I would support um, finding better ways to address college tuitions than, than both have offered. Um, I think that uh, and I had an opportunity today, matter of fact, to talk to the president, the new president of VCU, and he shared with me with, about the rising cost and the impact uh, that it's going to have on individuals coming into uh, to the university. I think it's extremely uh, uh, essential that we look at creative ways of addressing those issues to hold down the tuition rate and so that we have opportunities for every child who would like to go on to college to be receive an education. And so I think that uh, we need to all go back to the drawing board and to make certain that uh, we find ways that are available, creative ways that are available to address that. And uh, I think people from both aisles are going to have to come across the table to do just that. Thank you. And thank you once again for being here. Thank you. We'll uh, remind you some background. The Virginia General Assembly, of course, is the oldest continuous legislative body in the New World, tracing its roots to the House of Burgesses, which convened in Jamestown in 1619. The General Assembly consists of the 40-member Senate of Virginia and the 100-member House of Delegates, or Lower House, 